Well, we should get into it, which is the main event. Well, one of the main events about this guy, which is his transformation. And yep. Oh yeah, another thing, which I totally forgot. I totally forgot about this, but uh, you can open the doors on this guy. And uh, hey, they can uh, fit in there. Just like that. So yeah, you can do that both sides. That's pretty neat. Almost forgot to talk about totally pop about thought about that. No, yeah. Okay, so transformation now. The very specific order you should be doing things because yeah, um, he's complicated and the stuff can bang into each other if you're not really careful. Which I shall show you what the results are if you're not careful with the transformation. So first thing you want to do is collapse the mirrors up like that, and then there's this little divot here you can. Get your finger under there and this helps you pull away this whole side of the truck. From here you want to make sure um, it's kind of pegged in back here. So kind of put your thumb on this and that will help you get this undone. Which then, that's outside. Do the same thing on this side. Pull it out and then... Like that. And then the size of the truck motor. Way out here. And then rotate the red bit. That's just right here. There's a rotation bit right here. Right there. Rotate, rotate. And then this part right here, there's a this, the tank, gas tank. There's a hinge right here. You want to rotate this around on the hinge like that. Then you want to go ahead and take, fold this, the truck side in half. Rotate it up like this. Then take these bits, collapse them in like so. And then collapse the whole thing on this other hinge on the side like that. Same thing on this side. Rotate this bit around. Rotate. I'm gonna close that up, fold that up. Rotate it around like this. Then fold those around. And then collapse it. So then from here you wanna right here. Kinda pull the pull it down like this. Like that. And then split them apart. Because they peg in right there. That you know helps on peg things. So the, unpeg the legs, and then this this side bit right here. It's kind of it's tapped in here. You just undo it like that. Right here, there's this little thing right here. You want to fold this up like that, so it looks like this. And then you want to come over here, fold this down, fold this around, actually like that. Don't fold it up like that. Just keep it like that for now. And then this you'll want to rotate. You rotate and then this piece will rotate up and this will all rotate like this, like so. And then this piece right here, you'll want to rotate it inward like that. And then you can you rotate this bit inward and then you can collapse this up against the side of the leg here. That's where you go. Now over here, you'll want to do this. You want to take this and fold this up and then rotate this around this little the little circle piece. You want us to rotate it around the 180. Pull that up. Also, also extending the leg out. And then yeah, you can extend the leg out like this. You can also uh, take this piece and move it up like that. So it sits flush. And this piece right here, you want to untab it. And uh, move it forward. And as you're doing so, there's a little tiny piece right down here. You see that? This little tiny piece, you want to rotate this around as well. It's not being stubborn. Right, you want to rotate that around so it's rounded off like this. And then bring it up and go ahead and tab that in right here. And if you tab that in right there, then you can take this, this whole section this whole side section and uh, bring into the leg, just collapse it in. And sometimes there's a little resistance, just a matter of getting things 100% lined up. Yeah, get it all tabbed in. There's some tabs up here for the, on the knee, and up here in front of here, there's also tabs in the front of the leg right here. Like that, so it's all tabbed in. Then take this piece and collapse it over that wheel. Make sure again the tabs lined up because I just shifted out of alignment. But yeah, make sure it all lines up like that. That's all lined up now. And down here you can take the foot, move it forward, take this piece, close it, um, fold it like that, 
you can collapse it in. Then this piece comes off the foot right there, rotates around here, and that becomes the heel, and that's the foot done. And that's one whole leg done. You can see that. One whole leg is done. Yeah, you can see how different that is. Okay, so same whole thing on the same process on this side. Untab that, take this piece, and I take this piece and uh, rotate it around like that. Rotate this whole thing around like so, so that's uh, in there. Take that and rotate it. Rotate that up. Rotate this around. Yeah, I'm kind of going the long way for no reason. And peg that in. Pull this up. Rotate this around. Like that. Extend the leg out. Like that. Take this on untab it, rotate this piece, that little tiny piece around, and then take this and uh, straighten it out and tab it into the side of the knee. Then you can go ahead and collapse all this in. Wait, duh. Not that yet, yet. Duh. Skipping part. See, that's what I mean by it's important to import order. Move that up and then move this up. Then you can collapse it in because then it lines up properly. Don't be a doofus like I was. And you can start tabbing stuff, stuff all in on the leg. All tab it in. You know, it's just good, good old just squeeze check. Then close that up right here. And do the same thing with the foot as you did before. Move it forward a bit. Unfold that, move it into the leg a bit, and then unfold that, rotate that around, and close that up. And hey, look, the legs are done, which is neat. Now it's a matter of the upper body, which, yeah, this can uh, be a bit of a craziness. Thing is, I like to do here is uh, go ahead and uh, take this and collapse it down around like this. That's the back of the waist right there. Then you can move those down. Go ahead and move these down while you can. You can also move the the hips. Move them like this. Move these down. It's also this only problem is this is going to make things a little uh, forward heavy for a bit. At this point, you can actually take the arms. And we'll extend them out like this. You want to yeah, pull them out like this, and then that gets them out of the way. So now bend up here. Take this piece. There's a little center piece right here, and move that up. And these little side roof pieces. You want to on multiple arms like this. You want to move those up like so. By the way, full disclosure, mine does have a little uh, paint defect right here. The little blue chip right there for no reason in the panel. Don't know why. You can barely notice it, but it's there. Yeah. Then you can take the front of the truck mode and untab it. And whoops, that just came off. Yeah, I, I've noticed that mine on this one, this little this windshield piece or whatever likes to come off. It's not a huge deal. It just pegs right back on, but mine does do that. I thought I glued that back into place, too. Yeah, because it's supposed to come off like this. This yeah, comes comes up forward like this and up. Which then this piece right here, what you do is to take the bumper, fold it up like this, and take these side pieces and fold them up like this, forward like this. Fold them up. Take these little pieces right here and collapse them up as well. Collapse this up like that, and then take the bumper and collapse it forward. Like that. That's the beginnings of the backpack. The backpack. Take the windows then go ahead and open them like this. Back here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually move these arms out a bit. This gets you a little more breathing room. Move the arms out a bit so then you can untab this, this little bit, bit back from the back and open that up. And down here, you wanna unhook this from the waist. The bottom of the waist, like that. Want to unhook that and be really careful with that hook. 
In fact, I just kind of cover up that up with your thumb or something while you're doing all this. While you're doing this, you can go ahead and start. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here rotating. You can just kind of grab here and make sure the head's lined up and rotate all this around, including that center roof piece, the side roof pieces. All of this rotates around. Like that, and it rotates. Like say, now the head's exposed. Take these little side pieces, move them up. Like this, you can move this down, you know, fold this down. Make sure that's all lined up. But that's all these. Shh. Yeah, if these are all lined up, that means you got it rotated more or less in the proper spot. You can go ahead and uh, rotate these uh, windows around like this. Like that, yep. And then down here, what you want to do is take the wheels. There's a little blue slider thing right here on the wheels. Slide that backwards on both of them and start folding that up. Whilst also under here, there, these wheels are these red pieces are tabbed into this gray piece here. And you kind of want to while while simultaneously you want to pull them out this way, whilst also kind of pulling them up this way so the tabs can clear. Like that. So they can move out like this, fully fully collapse the wheel in, then rotate this gray piece and uh, slide it in like this. Same with this side. Fully rotate the wheel wheel over so it's nice and flush. You can rotate this up and slide this in and up. And you can move these pieces all the way up like that into place. Now this stuff right here, I want to make sure to unfold that like this. Move this, make sure this part right here needs to go in like that. Go fold that up like that. Then rotate this upward like this, up in the air. And then this goes into the chest cavity. You can close up the windows right there. And back here, you want to make sure this is, make sure to finish the rotation. So make sure that's all the way in. And make sure this that center roof piece is all the way forward. So this can finish collapsing inward. And this can also, these roof pieces also kind of bring them down so they tab in like that. You can hear it click into place. And this, this piece right here, you make sure it's collapsed up and then this just kind of should just latch in like that, it just latches on, and you bring the head down all the way. In the backpack, last bit of the backpack, there's another clicky, really clicky uh, joint here. Like that, and the tabs in right here. Yeah, so it tabs in right here, like that. And this whole thing, this you wanna. There's a tab here which goes into that slot right here. You tab that in. Press, just push it down. You just push it down like that, and then the back here, if it hasn't already, just tabs in. We're getting close to the end. I swear. We're getting almost there. We're almost there. So the arms, okay, so one thing you want to do is open this up right here. You open that piece up, this panel unfold that. And when you're unfolding it, it also brings out the wrist, the hand, bring it all the, the, all the way around like that. And then you can close this up and make sure the wrist is all the way and close this up, like that. See that, close it up. Also rotate the wrist around, close that up. And then up here, Extend the bicep out like this, close up this panel, rotate the arm forward, and then you take the smokestack, it's on a little weird rotation joint. See that, just like that. And you just collapse it, the arm in. Like 
anyway. So uh, panel, panel, fist around, like so. Rotate the fist, close this up, close that up, extend the bicep, close up that panel, rotate the smokestack backwards, rotate at the bicep, and then collapse this into the torso. And you have MP44 in his robot mode. Yeah, it's a complicated transformation. <laughs>